Number 116 in the imprint range is this wonderful, absolutely wonderful Wickerman box set. Now I am super impressed by this. This will probably be a long video, but I'll break it up into uh, chapters down below. They can jump to various parts. Uh, I think we'll talk about the movie first, maybe look at the packaging and then the extras that are on the various discs here uh, and my overall thoughts on everything. So we're going to jump into the main feature here, which is The Wicker Man, The Final Cut. Now, this is kind of interspersed with brilliantly fantastic remastered quality and then some standard definition it feels like just interspersed to flesh out the story a little bit and The Wicker Man for me is an absolute masterpiece as is for most people it's a movie where you just kind of jump straight into the story which I love about this one Edward Woodward plays Sergeant Howie who is called into this small island to investigate a missing girl. Now he has to fly in there. When he gets there, he discovers that everything just seems a little bit odd. And the more time he spends here, the less he likes it. <laughs> this is a strange island that feels a very dark and bleak to his Christian sensibilities that he has. He sees this freedom of sexuality, uh, the lack of morals or so he sees, and this mystery of a, a little girl who nobody seems to have any knowledge about. You do have a daughter? Yeah. And that's her? Oh, never. <laughs> I tell you no. This seemed a letter was directed to him and he has been brought here to this island where everything just feels off and that's one of the things that I love about it. Uh, going into a community where you're not familiar of their practices, of uh, the way that they do things, of their sensibilities and everything is not like the way you know it. Everybody seems to be sniggering and laughing and conspiring against you talking about you because you are an outsider and you definitely feel that throughout the film as we follow Howie as he comes up against brick walls of people who just seem to almost mock him. Sir, have these children never heard of Jesus? Himself the son of a virgin, impregnated, I believe, by a ghost. Who seem to not care that he's a police officer, uh, don't respect his authority and refer everything to Lord Summer Isle, um, the, the person that owns this land and kind of rules over this community. And we watch the insane uh, acts that Howie discovers throughout the movie. Like I said, the freedom of sexuality, the strange religious beliefs, the teachings that they have, the lack of reverence for his chosen religion and how that makes him feel. We see this person whom uh, religious beliefs are almost mocked uh, to his face at certain times and he cannot stand uh, the disrespect that they are given to his um, religion. He brought me up. He brought you up to be a pagan. A heathen conceivably but not I hope an unenlightened even though he is similarly being disrespectful to their religion as well, mocking it in much the same fashion uh, as he's being mocked, which I really like that aspect of the movie. But it's the community aspect, it's the everyday pe people, not a large monster, not a group of, of megalomaniacal crazy people, it is a community. It is every man, every woman. They are just normal people who have that unease about them when the stranger is about. This is Sergeant Howie, a policeman from the mainland who will be spending the night with us. This is my daughter, Willow. Good evening. Now, you've probably seen The Wicker Man and seen it many times before. Uh, I love it. I think it's a fantastic movie. I think it's one of those ones that just gets under your skin every time you watch it. There's so many wonderful aspects to the film I just adore. Now, this final cut was terrific. I feel it adds enough in it to really just elevate it even further than before and just create 
a wonderful movie. You get Christopher Lee as Lord Summerisle, who is fantastic. He feels like a very intelligent and smart man who's made decisions and owns them, stands by it. Love of nature, love of humans and wanting to make that work for him in any way, shape or form that it has to. I think I could turn and live with animals. They are so placid and self-contained. Terrific stuff. And uh, just a quick mention on the HD presentation of this film. It looks amazing. It really does look utterly fantastic. There are specific moments where you kind of go from like standard def, just infrequent parts, into the HD remaster. And the difference is outstanding and makes you realise how wonderful it really is. This looked terrific and I utterly loved it. The Wicker Man for me is an absolute 5 out of 5 classic movie. It stands the test of time for a reason uh, because it is utterly amazing. Um, this is a Studio Canal remastered as well and they always do great work. So, host of extras on this disc which we will get into in a moment. Uh, we also have a second disc in here, which is the theatrical cut and the director's cut. And this one, um, so we've got the theatrical cut, 128 minutes, and the director's cut, 141. And the final cut here was an hour and 33 minutes. And uh, there is another disc in this set, again, we'll get into that later on, which houses the special features and the CD soundtrack as well. So you know what, let's um, let's jump into e the package. Have a look at the package first and then we'll get into the extras. So here we have the Wicker Man, this awesome box from Imprint. As you'll see, this beautiful design wrapped around it really keeps in with the themes of the movie and is just really a sight to behold. I'm going to open it up here and we will remove the three discs from inside. And here we have them. We'll just put them to one side and we'll go through each of them, starting with the final cut. It's got the extras listed in the back, rather simple. And if you open it up, you will see uh, the image that is inside. If I can get it out. And there we have it, iconic image from the movie. Next up, we will move on to uh, the extra features and the original soundtrack. Here we have a list of some of the features on the back. Inside we have the, the two discs and an image that's all over the back as well. Another tough one to get the disc out. And here we have the image of, of the people um, doing their little ritual. And the two discs that are inside this one. Next up, we have the final disc which houses both the theatrical cut and the director's cut of this film on, on one disc. And we have that fantastic candle image, um, which is just terrific. Great part of the movie. There's the extras in the back of this one as well. And once more, just for good measure, you can see the insert of the box, the black, which is really contrast against the white. It fits together rather nicely and I just utterly adore this imagery that's on this thing. It's just stunning. It's one of the best packages I've seen in a long while. The three discs, fantastic. So we are in the disc of the Wicker Man Final Cut. We're going to special features. There is a 2022 audio commentary by film historians Vic Pratt and Will Fowler. Next up we have Burnt Offering, The Cult of Wicker Man, a 50 minute, 23 second documentary uh, with Mark Kermode, a bunch of other people and it is fantastic, a real standout. Next up we have Worshipping, The Wicker Man Featurette, which is 23 minutes, 35 seconds, featuring amongst others Eli Roth, James Watkins, Ben Wheatley, talking about the effect of the, the movie on them. Next, we have the music of The Wicker Man. It's 16 minutes and one second. Uh, if you've seen the movie, which I hope you have, the music is a great impact within the film and just getting someone talking about it is essential. Uh, 
Next up, we have an interview with director Robin Hardy, in which he puts a lot of insights into making the movie and how he tried to construct the mystery within it. Next, we have the Critics' Choice 1979 interview with Robin Hardy and Christopher Lee. This is in standard definition. It's 25 minutes and 54 seconds. It is really poor quality visually, but um, the audio on it is perfect and you can understand everything that's going on. Next, we have the Restoration uh, comparison at 1 minute 53 seconds. It is uh, really amazing to see the kind of work they've done. Just seeing uh, visually how it goes from the, the poor quality to the stunning quality that they've done is fantastic. And then we have three trailers on this one as well. Uh, all roughly around about two minutes, various cuts and the uh, standard of quality. So here we are in the Wicker Man theatrical and uh, director's cut edition. There are two cuts of the movie. The only one with an extra is the theatrical cut, which has the special feature it is a theatrical cut audio commentary uh, with Kim Newman and author Sean Hogan. Now, if you, like me, love uh, Kim Newman's commentaries, this is a new one from 2022 and well worth checking out. Okay, so here we are into disc three, uh, which is the most packed. It is the special features of The Wicker Man. First up, we have the director's cut in standard definition. Then we have an audio commentary by actors Christopher Lee, Edward Woodward and Robin Hardy. Um, next up, we have the making of the audio commentary feature, which is basically um, the first 16 minutes, 40 seconds of that recording. But to see the four people, including Mark Kermode, in the room watching it in these old tube TV while recording audio commentary was just it was like a really nice insight from 2013 is the wicker man q a after a screening it's 11 minutes 21 seconds it's quite interesting uh, particularly if you like those kind of q a's after screenings next up we have folk musicians discuss the wicker man which is only two minutes seven seconds and feels a little bit of a throwaway Next up, we have a BBC programme, XS, from 1998, which is 30 minutes, 20 seconds, basically discussing the impact, uh, going back to the locations, talking to lots of people involved with making uh, the movie. Next up, we have Wicker Man's Enigma from 2001, which is 34 minutes, 34 seconds, uh, another kind of making of and the effects of. Next up, we have the first of two amazing video essays, Willow's Song and the Liberation of Eve, uh, video essay by Kat Ellinger who is fantastic this is one of my favourite extras on this package um, I'm not going to talk about what she talks about because you need to watch it it is amazing similarly we have Ford Folklore The Fakery of the Wicker Man video essay by author Adam Scoval now this is 12 minutes 28 and I really like the idea of this because it puts a new spin on a lot of the movie that you're probably familiar with Next up, we have the music of The Wicker Man, which is 30 more, 4 minutes, 49 seconds, and really digs into the depth of the music created for this film. Then we have the Golden Bow interview with author David Huckville on the symbolism of The Wicker Man, which is 15 minutes, 27 seconds in length, and it talks about, well, length and other things. Next, we have Robert Reed on The Wicker Man, which is 3 minutes, 39 seconds in length, uh, just kind of uh, how this affected this person, just kind of throw away. Then we have The Willow Song, a promo video by Robert Reed, which is basically a music video um, of Willow's song, which is, is fine. And then we have the TV spots and radio spots, and that concludes the epic extras on this amazing package. So there we have it. This is a rammed disc. It is phenomenal. I am really happy to have this in the collection. It's a wonderful set. Everything in it is just terrific. The transfer is amazing. Uh, I love the artwork on the set. I love all the extras that come with it. This is a wealth. If you're a Wicker Man fan, this is everything you could possibly want in it. And I highly recommend picking this one up. I'd love to know your thoughts on the Wicker Man, the movie, this package, what you think of the, the various cuts of it. What's your favourite cut? Let me know in the comment box below. We'll have a little discussion about how amazing this movie is or whether you just think it's merely average and are wanting a little bit of encouragement to watch it again 
let's have a discussion and we'll see if I can get you back to checking it out once more. As always, there's more content up here. You can check out more of my stuff if you're so interested. Hit that like button if you love, like, or hate the Wicker Man. Just hit the like button because it helps me out a little bit. Share this video if you want to help the channel because maybe get more eyes on the channel, which would be great. And you can join me in the membership or the Patreon program. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.